وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ قَوْلًا وعمل صالحا وقال إنني من المسلمين. Went to a seminary mm. and then oh, wow. I uh, finished a uh, uh, master of divinity. Oh wow! And then both of uh, us have two masters. <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, you have, you have two, two masters. masters yeah. yeah, one in Islamic sciences and one is in technology management. You got right? it. Yeah. And then by God's grace, as I start serving, I'll continue to learn. Wow. Because this is important. Continue learning is so Me important. Too. And then I uh, later on I completed a PhD. Oh wow! As well. You're ahead of me. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I haven't done that, my PhD. So I know that you will. I gotta, be heading I gotta that get way. my PhD going. Okay. Man. That's it. <laughs> so you're inspiring me to get my well, PhD. Well, I, I want now. to encourage, okay? Right. Because well, for us, say eh, as the seeker of the truth, it is important that we need to humble ourselves. Right. Now, no matter how much we learn, mm. compared to the knowledge of God, nothing. So, so little. There's a hadith that says the, that all of this is like a needle dipped in water, in okay. the ocean. Right? And even that's not comparable to the great creator. Not at all. That's why in Islam we say about the great creator, Laysa kamithli yes. There is nothing that can even compare to you the don't. creator. His perfect knowledge, he knows everything, he that's can do true. everything. You would agree, right? Definitely. Okay, excellent. Because so, well, these are the two things eh, that are so important now for Muslims. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I have great respect eh, for Muslims. Thank you. For the very purpose that you are so revered mm -hmm. to the one creator God. Excellent. Allah. Okay? Allah, yes. But the name Allah mm -hmm. from the Arabic word, mm -hmm. it means eh, the one who is uncreated creator God. Yeah, the only one worthy of worship. The only one worthy. Only ilah. Ilah you is that it. which is worshipped. That's you know a lot. You, you see, you're well versed. No, no, no. You I just are? know a little bit. That's a lot. In fact, say for the Christian, mm. well, you know that in the Arabic Bible we use Allah. Exactly. As well. That's a great point. You know, okay. We, we discuss with a lot of uh, Christians in America, <laughs> and they speak very ill about Allah, and they have signs that say there is no Allah, and we say if you get a Christian Bible, you find the word Allah. So, I mean, we believe that the same Allah inspired Jesus, peace and blessings be upon him, that inspired Moses, peace and blessings be upon him, that inspired Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. And as you know, as Muslims, we love all the prophets. Amen. We love Abraham, we love Amen. Moses, we love Jesus, we love Muhammad, peace yes. be upon them. We never make cartoons of them. No. We never make fun of them. No. We love them. If anybody even mocks uh, any prophet, whether it's Jesus or Moses or Muhammad, peace be upon all of them, yes. we get upset because yes. we love them. In America, they make movies to make fun of Jesus and Muslims are the ones that banned the movie in our countries and we didn't allow it because we love Jesus. Yes. It hurts us yes. if somebody mocks a prophet of God that we love and no. we respect. Yeah. We believe he was born to a miraculous birth without a father, as you believe. You know. <laughs> We don't, unlike the Jews who say that no, he was born out of you know a sin, out of wedlock. We don't believe that. We believe it was a miracle from God, like the Amen. birth of Adam Amen. and Eve. And we believe that he taught the right direction. He taught yes. his people to worship the one above, right? Yeah. And he worshipped himself, God above. And we believe as Muslims that we worship the same God that Jesus worshipped. So I think we have a lot in common. A lot in common, yeah. So just so I can know, is your church Baptist, Protestant, Catholic, non-denominational, where does it go? Now you see the church eh, that I have been kind of well, helping, mm. okay? Basically, well, from the Christianity viewpoint, how you kind of well, categorize. categorize, it is Protestant, okay? okay gotcha. Basically, well, even though when I say Protestant, which means eh, that basically, in fact, eh, no matter whether it is Catholic church or Protestant church, we all come from the same roots. Right, but there is a difference between the divine books. Like the Catholic Bible has the book of Tobit, which in the Protestant Bible you don't, right? That would be, okay, need to clarify that. Sure. Both Bibles, they eh, have both Old Testament and New Testament. Sure. But the Catholic Church, eh, not only believe that Old Testament and New Testament, they are the inspired Word of God. Mm -hmm. In addition, eh, they kind of include the Apocrypha. Sure. Which means eh, that like those the, are the kind of all inter-testimony between Old Testament and New Testament. 
that 400 years right, that there are a few books say, but like the book of Tobit is under the Old Testament in the Catholic Bible right because I have a Catholic Bible and I went to okay. Catholic studies so according to Catholics that is inspired Word of God like the book of Genesis and Exodus you see this is why I kind of separate that eh, into three portions say eh, okay. for the Catholic Bible Old Testament is the same as our Old Testament New Testament is the same as the New Testament we have, mm -hmm. but that would be in between time. Those are the book, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, for the Protestant, we believe that, yeah, they are book, they are book that has been written, mm -hmm. but we do not hold them eh, the same way as the Old Testament and the New Testament. So are those books inspired by God? Now, for us, okay, I just have to say, for the Catholic Church, they do believe that, yes. yes. But for the Protestant, we believe that, we don't believe that that is the inspiration, inspired word for the Apocrypha. Mm. Okay, because that is the difference. But so, for the Old Testament and New Testament, completely, they are inspired word of God. So I'm confused, so I want you to help me. Yes. So, for example, in my Catholic Bible, Yes. The Book of Tobit, for example, is just as inspired as Genesis and Exodus. They have it just together. Right? I understand. So they believe that is the Word of God, inspired Word of God. And you believe that's not the inspired Word of God. Now, you see, what we believe, eh, the Old Testament have 39 books, okay? Mm. From the Torah, the mm. five book of Moses, right. okay? And then on and on until the end of what we call is the Minor Prophets, okay? okay. So the last Old Testament book is the uh, Zechariah, okay. the book of Zechariah, yeah. okay? Uh, um, so that would be 39 books in okay. there. So we, when I say the Protestant Christians, yes. we believe that that is fully inspired Word of God. <coughs> and then for the New Testament, there are 27 books. Gotcha. The four books of uh, well, yeah. the Gospels, Mark. Okay, Matthew, Luke, Matthew John. Mark, Luke, John, yep. and then pass the Hebrews, writings, okay, the yeah. from the writings, from, uh, first of all, from the, uh, say, the book of Acts, sure. Roman, and so on and so forth, and then the last book in the New Testament is Revelation. I got These it. are the 27 books, so together, the Old Testament plus the New Testament, there are 66 books. Gotcha. That, for us as Protestant Christians, we believe that all these 66 books are the inspired Word of God. Now, for the Catholic Church, yes. they do believe in all these 66 books as yes. inspired Word of God. Uh, but in between, like I said, the inter-testimony, Old Testament and New Testament, that about 400 years period of time. Okay, more, about, yeah. okay, about. I just give an estimate. And then God continued to, well, according to them, God continued to work through the Israelis. But according to you, no. I do, okay, but God continues to work man. through them, but at the same time, okay, at the same time, because, say, the work, the, the, those books in there mm -hmm. have never been referred by Jesus Christ in the New Testament. Okay. Okay, so that's why those are the, we see that as the history of Jew, the Jew, Jewish people. Okay, so, so simple, simple question. Yeah. Because as I asked the Catholic priest, Yeah. Are those books the word of the inspired word of God? And he said, very and they, they short. said yes. yes. Okay. So I'm asking you a very simple question. Yeah. Are those works the word of inspired word of God? That's why I share with you. I do not believe in okay. that. That's it. So okay. you, you believe it's not. <laughs> exactly. And they believe it is. I believe only Good. the Old Testament and gotcha. the New Testament. Yes. So, oh. so you as a Protestant, I mean, just yes. so I can understand. Please, okay. Yeah. yeah. So please. You believe that those words are not inspired by God even though you may appreciate them, I'm not taking that away. And Catholics would say, no, that is the inspired word of God, just like Exodus and Genesis, and just like Matthew and Luke, and they put it in the same book. They put it so in the have, same category. So in reality, you have two different compilations of books that are called the Bible, because to them, those are holy, inspired word of God, just as Genesis and Exodus and so on. Yeah. And to you, they're not. Now, that will be the difference, you see? Both of us say eh, believe that Old Testament and New Testament they are inspired word of God. Okay. But for the Catholic Church, they believe that in addition to these two, these are. And you don't. Uh, for us, 
the inspired word of God, Old Testament and New Testament, they are complete. Gotcha. Okay, okay. they are complete. I get it. it they don't add say, any further thing, but in the contrary, some of the passages in there mm. provide confusion in there. Okay. I have to say that. Good. That was the basic I'm sure reason. Some Catholic can argue at that point. I you. know. But I. But, for but that's me, okay. For me, I just, I just, I appreciate that yes. you have explained to me that the books that the Catholics take as to be the inspired word of God, part of the Bible today, you do not. Pa part of the Catholic Bible. Okay. Excellent. So you do not believe those should be in the Bible, right? Not as the inspired word of God. Okay. So the Bible by itself, from the this is the Protestant King James. Yes. I'm not Catholic. I don't have a. I mean, I have a Catholic Bible. I don't have it with me. Let me share with you my Chinese version. Okay. Oh, this is different. Okay. Sure. <laughs> I, I don't have a Chinese Catholic or Chinese Bible, so this will be my first time seeing sure, one. Sure, yeah, Excellent. I want to show that to you. Excellent. Okay. So is it based off the King James Version or the NIV or...? In fact, say that uh, there are translations in there, as you I know. Like, I like okay. the cover. That is cool. <laughs> we want to complete that, okay? Now, now, I know that while we treat the Word of God, we respect the Word of God. Of course. But at the same time, say that every time when we read, when we study, on the margins, we will write down, say, some of the, the take inspiration, notes the take notes on yeah. that, okay? So this is the Chinese Bible, okay, what we call that, okay? Oh. Now, these are the kind of our Chinese book, well, Chinese like Arabic, okay? We oh. read from right to left. Right to left. Nice. <laughs> and then from top to bottom. Yeah. Left to right, top to Right to left, the traditional Chinese. From right to left, the traditional so Chinese, Chinese. Right to left or yeah. top to bottom? Which one is And it? then we read it like this. Yeah. Uh, you can write both ways. Very interesting. So, so just so I understand, because I've never seen a Chinese Bible. Please, I, I want to show that you with you. Sharing this with yeah. Me. So would this be based off the King James Version? Or would this be based off like an NIV? Because there's differences, right? Yeah. Now, within the Protestant Bible. Let me share with you about how the, all the Bible that we have, OK? Of course, we all know that the original script, okay, the Old Testament, they mm -hmm. were written, most of them written in Hebrew. Yes. And then with certain, a small portion in Aramaic. Sure. Okay, you know Aramaic, okay? I, I do know the language of Aramaic. Okay. The language of Jesus. Aramaic, okay. okay. So, but the majority of the Old Testament, they are written in Hebrew. Hebrew. And then the New Testament, they were Aramaic written. Greek in Greek, okay? Greek, yeah. So all this, okay, because of the Renaissance, mm -hmm. okay, because of the people in the old in the in the old day, only the priest, mm. okay, now, okay, maybe I'll give you a little bit of background and yeah. then I'll talk about the translation. Okay? I appreciate it. In the old days, say eh, only those who know how to read Greek or Hebrew, mm. they can read the Bible. True. In the Which was not biblical time, in the biblical time the, um, there are about 70 scholars mm -hmm. that they translate the Old Testament, which is in Hebrew, they translate that to Greek. Mm -hmm. So that's why they call that as the 70. Okay. Okay, which is basically, I'm talking about in Jesus' time. That was translated okay. the Old Testament into from Hebrew <coughs> to Greek. Okay. Okay, so that's why in Jesus' time, there were already that translation. Mm -hmm. Now, we continue to use those, eh? mm. refer to that, and then later on, when the, when the early church <coughs> come about, mm -hmm. in the old days, the common language, yes, they were Greek, but at the same time, it was ruled by Roman. Exactly. So that's why, in the early days, the church, they translate the whole Bible into uh, Latin. Latins, okay? Excellent, yeah. So that's why we have the Latins version. True. So from Jesus time mm. and then all the way to the early church there are different kind of a translation already throwing through available but the earliest manuscripts of the Greek that are complete uh, which is Codex Sinaiticus yeah is fourth century right well let's put it this way because right now we do have a lot of archaeological findings mm -hmm. okay several things Probably you might have heard of Dead Sea Scroll. I have. Okay. Dead Sea Scroll, 
they found Jay in a cage in Palestine. Yes, in Palestine, and then they find that there is a lot of old manuscript. Yes, and then, but according to the carbon dating, mm -hmm. according to the archaeological finding, there's no carbon dating, but archaeological well, finding. archaeological I've, finding. I've studied the Dead Sea Scrolls. Okay, but they're not New Testament. Remember, so they are the Old Testament. Old Testament. You're right, and they're not and from the time they of Moses. Out. The earliest that they can be dated is around 200 BC to yep. 70 AD. Yeah, I studied them. That's so, good. Then you know the basic yes, thing. Yes, okay? of course. But the New Testament has nothing to do with the Dead Sea Scrolls. Okay, no. So just now, to be clear, let me, let me talk about the. the let me. Chi um, okay, go ahead. Thank you. Please. Just so if I can be, if I'm if I'm wrong, I'd love to learn. No, no, better. no. You talk. So. When the Christians talk about the Dead Sea Scrolls, and, and again, like I said, I have books on it, I've studied it. Yes. Um, we cannot tie it to the time of Moses, obviously, because the earliest dating goes around 200, even though it's not carbon dated, but the archaeological dating goes to about 200 BC to about 70 AD. That's so that good. means it's not, it's not from the time of Moses, but it is the oldest manuscript of the Old Testament. Excellent. And the New Testament, there is like, for example, that one verse and a half that's from around 70 AD from John. You got 52. it. <laughs> but there's also Quotus Sinaiticus, which you is a semi-complete version. Right. But that is fourth century, about 300 years after Jesus. Is that correct? More or less right. Okay. okay. Thank you. You see the earliest find that I'm glad. You're a eh? PhD, so I, no, I got no, 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 no. I'm glad eh, that you know that. Especially, say, for the book of John, mm -hmm. okay? Of course, they do not have the whole manuscript. Exactly. Okay? They do have a piece, a segment of that. But when size they, of credit card, a right? small one, okay? A About small a section. Line and a half, yeah. But they, when they compare to the corresponding verses, right, right. they kind of will see that, hey, they correspond to really, really well. But most of those manuscripts, because I have, a, I have a Bible at home that is the Greek that gives references to all the manuscripts. So it's very interesting for me to read because Excellent, there is a yeah. lot of differences between manuscripts and that's why uh, scholars like Bart Ehrman and others have written whole books on this issue. Um, but the, the issue of the King James Version and the NIV Version, the reason I asked is because NIV recently has changed some of the verses from King James. So I don't know, do you use the King James? Like I can ask no. you about verses. In like I King said, Abe, all the Bibles in here are continual. Mm -hmm. To kind of update it. Ah, okay. So the word of God for gets the updated. no, no, not the word of God. Okay. It's the translation. The tra but but numbers and words change. Or? No, it doesn't. Okay. It basically that because the more we understand mm -hmm. the ancient Hebrew or ancient Greek, gotcha. at the scholar Bible st scholar, as they do the research, they find out that hey, this Hebrew word not only mean this but also mean other things as well. Gotcha. So basically, they kind of update the translation, not gotcha. the original Word of God. Okay. But, but this is the Word of God. <laughs> right? It is the Word of God. It's perfect, obviously, because the Word of God. That's okay. right. Let me ask you about a verse so that I can see, because I have some that I saw a difference between NIV and KGV. Sure. So maybe you can show Please, me which okay. one you have. Okay. If you can open um, 2 Kings okay. 8.26. I okay, think. yeah. Um, I talk about David, eh? Uh, no, uh, no, Solomon. Uh, 8.26 Isaiah. Uh, right? Isaiah or 2 King? Did you say 1 uh, King? No, no, 2 King. 2 King, okay. 8.26. Okay. I see you have a lot of notes. Your <laughs> PhD, come on. No, 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 no. Uh, 8.26. No. Okay. He's a doctor as well, Dr. Mustafa. <laughs> but medical doctor is a different <laughs> Go ahead. My son. He's a dentist. Oh, wow. My and son is starting med school, so. Very good. And my son-in-law, he's a medical doctor, too. Wow. Yeah. You're a studious family. I Praise our Lord. I appreciate that, eh? Praise our Lord, yeah. OK, Please, so let's okay. go to 826, if you don't yes, mind. If you yes. can read for me. Uh, because this is my Chinese one, Second okay. King, right? Yeah, Second Eight? Kings. I do that, eh? I'll do the translation right away Please. in English, yeah. OK? Or maybe I can go and go to the New Testament. You, you can just uh, no, no, go. no. That's why I want to kind of a second, second King. Second Kings okay. eight twenty six, please. Mm -hmm. Let me go to. Since you mentioned about NIV, then I use the NIV to study to read it for you. 
I, I have a King James version. But you, you like the King James? But you said the numbers don't change, so that's okay. You can use any one yeah. you like. Because the King James, it was translated in the 18th century. Mm -hmm. So the English word that they use is the Old English. Well, there's the New King James that updated the language. Yeah. But and uh, yeah, New King James, all those things. But like you, I said, some of the translation would not be and I believe because since then there is a lot of our updated translation using the everyday English. But, so that would before help. Before we go to the English, I just want to know in the Chinese what does it say? I mean just without without the English, I just want to see what it says. Okay, 26, did you say? Second yeah. Kings chapter 8 verse 26. Okay, verse 26, okay. This is talk about Ahab, okay, his son. Ahaziah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, he was 22 years old? Yeah, he was 22 years old. And then, so while he was in Jerusalem mm. and became for one year. So, how old was he? Can you check your verse Bible, please? How old was he? Pardon? How old was he in your Bible? And then? 22 years 22 old. Years old. Yeah. When he became king and he reigned in Jerusalem for one year, and his mother's name was Athaliah, the granddaughter of Umri, right? Yeah. Okay. If you don't mind, can you open Second Chronicles? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Second Chronicle. Thank you. Chapter 22, verse 2, please. 22, verse 2. Yes. Hezekiah was 22 years old when he became king, and he reigned in Jerusalem one year. Mm -hmm. Can you check the Chinese? Okay. Okay. 42 or 22? 42, okay. You just read 22. Uh, NIV version. Oh, so there's number changes. The NIV is 22. But you said that it was, they didn't change numbers or? No. You see, you are right, okay, in here, Thank because you. as I mentioned to you, those are the old translation. 42 and 22 is not old and new translation. Those are numbers. Yeah. Numbers don't change with time. Yeah. We still say 42. Okay. So in your Chinese, does it say 42 under Second Chronicles 22.2, please? It says uh, 42. Because it's based so on eh, the King James Version and translate so, that. So the Word of God being perfect obviously couldn't have mistakes and he's either 22 or 42 and if your Bible and my Bible and her Bible says 42 and the other Bible says 22, that's confusing. Yeah. You see, this is the reason. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the reason I mentioned earlier. Yeah. It is really is the translation. The translation have problem. So once again, just, just to be clear, yeah. I mean, you, you, were, you were in the UK, I was in the yes. UK. We may pronounce things differently. Right? Yes. You might say bread, and I might say bread, right? But 42 and 22 is not a translation. Those are two distinct numbers that cannot both be. One has to be wrong. So either he was 22 or 42. I mean, I don't want to ask your age because Understand. you look so young. I'll give you my age. <laughs> I'm 47, right? Yeah. What did it say in the, uh, in this 22 years. And then you see, the Bible has already okay. said that. I'm sorry. Yeah. What? In this, our Bible, this uh -huh. mention is certain vision. It says that it's 22? No, this is in, in here, it's 42. Okay. But before it's 20, 22. So, so there's a contradiction. There is a little mistake. Mistake in the Bible. In the well, Word of God. In the translation. No, 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 no. no, okay. no. Again, 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 it's not a translation. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Because this is the original manuscripts. The Greek manuscripts have a contradiction. That's why in the King James, it's not a translation of saying bread or bread or pronunciation or saying cheddar or cheese if it's 22 or 42 that's a mistake and the word of god no no again not translation because the greek has those numbers as well the greek manuscripts i'm sure you've got a phd mistake in the word of god 
Sometimes we are, we are not God. No, we are not God. I am but, not but, trying but this to... Is, this, is, this is why I began yes. the conversation by asking, sure. is this the Word of God with no mistakes? And you agreed. I this do. This is the Word of God with no mistakes, but this is a mistake. Now, what I've been always so saying that is the original mm -hmm. Word. Uh -huh. What we are reading in here, that is the translation. You see, right in the beginning, mm -hmm. I shared about that. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. So this is why now, when there is new translation come up, mm -hmm. as more and more information, because there are so many manuscripts sure. available, the biblical scholar, they are doing just like a good scholar does. Okay. Try to collect eh, all these different manuscripts, and then how to kind of work on that, and then do the translation to the best of their knowledge. So when those time. manuscripts disagree, the Greek has two different numbers. That's a contradiction, right? And this Bible that you've been teaching from says 42, and you're saying that's a mistake now. Now, I am not saying that this Bible have mistake. But it says The 42. Bible itself, okay, is the translation. Now, you have to understand. Uh, again, you keep saying translations. <laughs> the word number 42, whether you say it in Chinese or you see, in Pashto. This is the Chinese English. Bible. Can I, can we I mentioned it? that not only in here, it's stated in the Bible. In that particular passage you mentioned, uh -huh. it was mentioned as 22. In here it said 42, right? It says 42, and then it have and a black and it says say, in the other verse it says 22. Yes. So when one verse says 42, his age, and one says 22, only one can be right. He can't be both ages, right? Yeah. And we have agreed now that 42, according to you, is a mistake. And that's why the Bible that you have in front of you and the one I have in front of me, which doesn't have any notes about 22. Yeah. King James Version, which is the most common Bible that is read, has a mistake. And it's not a translation no, issue no. because it's not like translating white and, 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 and light or something. You know, it, it's a number that from the original manuscript is a contradiction. And the Word of God cannot have mistakes. It's perfect. Don't say please, translation. Please, just just please to be go clear, on. Please because go when on. we translate, Numbers don't change in translation. Okay. Thank you for pointing that error in the King James Version. Excellent. That's why I want to, that's why earlier on I mentioned to you that is, that was translated based on the manuscript that there was available at that time. Okay. Now, as more and more trans well, pieces from the archaeological finding, mm -hmm. that's why it's continued to help. Which is good. Now, I'm not saying that there was not an uh, incompatible translation in there. How, is it, how can you be 42 and 22? Now, you're right. That's why I want to mention about that. Now, when we read the Bible, <clears throat> it is so important. Thank you for asking that question. Mm -hmm. Let me ask two other questions because you, you mentioned away. about Please. what is the oldest manuscript mm -hmm. that Quran has? There can are, you tell me? Sure. I got From you. the archaeological finding, please. Sure, please. We have the Birmingham Quran, right? Which, which is the Birmingham Quran is carbon dated to the lifetime of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Which is 600 A.D. Sure. Quran. Well, I mean, so Six, it gives, 630, 650 A.D. You want me to answer? Yeah. Okay. So the Birmingham Quran, which is in the U.K. today, yeah. has been carbon dated, not just archaeologically to the end of the life of the Prophet, because carbon yes. dating doesn't give you a particular, it gives you a range. We have the San'a Qur'an, that according to the writing that is underneath, which is under the par parchment, yes. has to from the time of Abu Bakr, the first Khalifa, yes. and the top from the time of Uthman, Uthman, the first generation. Yes. We also have people that have memorized the entire Qur'an word by word, letter by letter, from the time of the Prophet, peace be upon him, till today. Amen. Here in Dubai, Ramadan is coming up, you can go to any mosque and you will see somebody from memory, no book in front of them, recite the entire Qur'an. From the time of the Prophet till today we have those Qur'an. Every generation we have manuscripts that we write and we have Qur'an memorized that memorize. All Muslims around the world have only one Qur'an. Mm -hmm. Whether Shia, Sunni, Brailvi, Deobandi, Ahlul Hadith, Salafi, whatever they may have denominations. We begin with Al-Fatiha, we end with Nas, 114 chapters, 30 juz. 
We don't have anybody that has a different Quran, alhamdulillah. We don't argue yeah. about whether these books are in it or not, like the Catholics and Protestant. And we're not even talking about the Greek Orthodox and Ethiopian Orthodox, which have their own, uh, you, you know better, you, you have a PhD in this. Having said that, I do have a few other verses that I do want to see the differences in your Bible. Let me ask one Bible. more question, say in there. Go ahead. Thank you for saying that. You're welcome. You mentioned that about the Quran. <clears throat> The Quran wasn't written by Muhammad. That was by his followers. By his companions during his lifetime, yes. Yeah, for his followers. And then I understand, based on my understanding, mm -hmm. maybe you can help me to clarify. I got you. Yeah. I think that what they do have, well, at that time, his followers kind of well, tried to kind of well, come up what Prophet Muhammad they have been sharing with them. And then they kind of write it down all of them and then they compiled it together. Yeah, so Is that me, what my understanding? Let me, let me elaborate. First. Please, okay. Yeah. In the time of the Prophet, peace be upon him, the Quran would be revealed and he would recite it. And there were those that are called Katib al-Wahi, right? They would write down as the Quran was being revealed, they would go on hides of animals, on bones, on parchment, whatever they could. And there were those that were Qurra, that would just memorize. Like Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, mm -hmm. Ubay ibn Ka'ab, Abdullah yeah. ibn Abbas, yeah. Aisha radi anha, Uthman yeah. ibn Affan, hundreds that memorized the entire Quran directly from the Prophet, peace be upon him. Yes. And many others that wrote down from the Prophet, peace be upon him, Muawiyah radi anhu, and others that were the one that used to write the Quran. Yeah. So both before the death of the Prophet, the entire Quran, he recited it to them. Yes. From the beginning to the end. Yes. And they wrote it and memorized it. Mm -hmm. As when he passed away from this worldly life, yeah. in the Khilaf of Abu Bakr is only two and a half years. Yes. So in the first year, when there were the Ridda Wars, at that time, many of the reciters of the Quran were being killed because they were fighting to defend the land and so on. Abu Bakr said, we bring all of those memorizers together and we have one manuscript. And he standardized it. This is the first generation, not fourth That's century right. afterwards. That's right. Then Uthman Radian, still a companion, he made copies of those and sent them out as standards throughout the Muslim world. Since that time, Muslims have been writing the Quran by hand, like in North Africa mm -hmm. till today, mm -hmm. when they memorize the Quran, they write out the whole Quran from memory. Yes. And we've been memorizing it. Till today, I've never met a Christian that's memorized the entire Bible. Have you? There are over... You, you met one? <laughs> You've never met one? No. You've never met one, have you? Have you yeah. met anybody that's memorized the whole Bible? Yeah. You met them personally? I, heard about I know that there are about over 6,200 verses say, in the Quran. More than that, but yeah. Yeah, well, a little bit more, okay? Sure. 62, 6,300 mm -hmm. verses. You know how many verses in the Bible, Old Testament and New Testament in general? Much more, yeah. But, but again, let me just okay. let me just add to that because yeah, yeah. So, alhamdulillah, in our ummah, we have people that memorize entire books of hadith, which would be much bigger than the Bible. Yes. We have people who memorize mutun in fiqh. Yeah. I had my own teacher, he had memorized books of hadith. Praise our Lord. So, yeah. so the size is not the issue. No. In fact, if you take the New Testament, in size would be comparable, if not smaller than the Quran, mm -hmm, in size. Mm -hmm. Because verses sometimes are short. In, in, yeah. in Surah Al-Baqarah, yeah. you have a verse that's half a page, yeah. right? So, so comparing numbers of verses doesn't make no, sense, no, no, right? No, no. But the size of the New Testament yeah. is pretty small. Yeah. But till today, I have never met a Christian that memorized the entire New Testament, especially not in Koine Greek. Have you ever met one? Uh, not that I know of. I have to be admit. I have to so, admit so that. So that's interesting, right? Because you have two billion yeah. plus Christians. But, and but <laughs> you, you remember, I don't know what they're saying. What they're saying. Oh, but we do. We oh. speak Arabic. We learn we the Quran. Arabic, yeah. Chinese, they don't know Arabic, but that, 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 I know. But but there are Chinese that I know personally that study Arabic that yeah. memorize the Quran in Medina University. You will yes. find them. Yeah. Yes. For generations, no, no, no. Muslims have been in China for a long time, and scholars have come from China and these areas and learned Arabic for generations. Yeah. If we look at the Muslim scholarly bodies, most of them were not Arab. 
Mm-hmm. If you look at many Sa'd ibn Waqqas, one of the yeah. companions of the Prophet, yeah. he went to China and people became Muslim in China in the time of the Prophet yeah. Muhammad. Peace be upon yeah. him. You know, yeah, in, yeah. in what is yeah. Western China today, yeah. Arabic has been the standard language for a long time in what is the Uyghur situation. Let me, let me ask another question. Let me, let, because, me ask you this. Because let me ask you this. No, no, that's okay. How many of you speak Kone Greek? How many of you are fluent in Kone Greek? Greek. The Kone Greek. Greek. Not, not just Greek. Greek, but the Greek of the Bible is Kone Greek. How many of you are fluent in it? Are you fluent in it? I cannot say I'm fluent, okay? Thank you. How many of us <laughs> sitting here are fluent in Arabic? Probably all of you will raise your hand, right? <laughs> I speak Fusha Arabic. That would be Quranic okay. Arabic. Yeah. And I don't have a PhD. So you see, we have more Muslims who know the Arabic of the Quran than you have Christians who know the Bible's Kune Greek. We have Muslims' children here in Emirat that have memorized the whole Quran that you can go see in the mosque, letter by letter, that know the meanings. They speak the language. And we, our PhD friend here has said he's never met a single Christian that's memorized even the New Testament, let alone the Old Testament. So there is a difference in preservation. We have manuscripts that can be carbon dated to the life of the Prophet, peace be upon him. You don't have a single manuscript that be, can be carbon dated to Jesus' time for the New Testament. Am I correct? Let me ask you a question. Am okay? I correct? And then, well, what you have said, mm-hmm. because we do have a lot of scholars, mm-hmm. they are kind of focused knowing the Greek mm-hmm. and the Hebrew. Because sure. when we study the Bible, we study two original languages. Sure. And then, basically, because this is really is a scholarship, mm-hmm. so the system that we are working on, okay, is to, yes, we do have Old Testament scholars, so they will be kind of all professional in the Hebrew language. Gotcha. And then we do have New Testament scholar, and then they will be fluent in the Greek. I get and it. then from there onward, because now, you see, this but, is... My, now, my, now, let me explain please, that. Why the, the, the kind of thing, say, that you talk about identify the phenomenon. Mm-hmm. You see, in the old days, only, only the priest would understand either the Hebrew or the Greek, the original language. That's a problem. That, you're right. That's why the message of God, the word of God, cannot be spread out, say, to the generation. Now, Big problem the in the wo- church. The word now, of God? Now, this is quick. why. Are, are you a scholar? No. Do you know Arabic? I? Do you know Arabic? Perfect. You see, now, he's not a scholar, but when the Quran is being recited, he knows the meanings. You see, this is why Islam, the priests couldn't change it. Because every regular Muslim who knows the Arabic language, and there's a lot, not just Arabs. I'm not Arab. He's not Arab. He's Chinese. I'm Pashtun. But we have learned the Quranic Arabic. I don't have a PhD, yeah. he's not a scholar. Yeah. But even amongst your scholars, very few are fluent in Kone Greek today. And amongst the regular Christians, I've never met somebody who speaks Kone Greek. Even the Greek today is not Kone Greek, right? It's different. Even, okay. it's, different. it's different. Even the Hebrew that they speak in, in, for example, Tel Aviv and those places, may Allah free Palestine, even there, they don't speak the Hebrew of the Old Testament. My question that I asked you is, we have manuscripts, the ones I have mentioned, that are carbon dated to the life of the Prophet, peace be upon him, and his companions. You do not have a single manuscript from the time of Jesus. Is that correct? Yes or no? That's very simple. Now, you are talking about that, okay? You you are talking about that. Mm -hmm. Based on my understanding, I don't want to ex- well stretch my knowledge about the Quran, okay? But, but, but Maybe you Bible, can help me to clarify that. But I want to share that with you. No problem. The Bible, the Bible, yes, there are 66 books in there. And then it was written in different time period. So not in the time of Jesus? Well, there are the f- first 39 books hmm. from the Old Testament. They were written before Jesus' We're time. We're talking about the New Testament. No, right? the New Testament, they were written within 40 years okay, but you after Jesus passed away. Hold on, hold on. Just so I can okay. understand. So that means when Jesus was on this earth, there was no New Testament. No, there was no. Because the so, New so, Testament... So, so you're saying yes. this work was never even seen by Jesus on earth. 
Now, Jesus, is when that, that he correct? was on earth, he was preaching on the Old Testament passages. Uh, okay, good. As I mentioned to you earlier, at that time, there was a Greek Bible translation from the, for the Old Testament. But I'm asking you about the New Testament. Now, the New Testament <coughs> are within 40 years after Jesus passed away. So, so and question. it was written by eyewitness account, those who follow Jesus. Really? And those so, who uh, die. But you don't have any of those that. manuscripts. Because the earliest manuscript we agreed, Codex Sinaiticus, is 4th century. That's not 40 years. Well, you see, like I mentioned, yes. you talk about bits and pieces of information. No, no. We try to no, kind no, of all that's collect very, together. Okay, look, look, let me, let, let's not jump around. Let's be very simple. Straight, right. okay? So let me just ask Please, you a simple okay. question. Yeah. You can give me a simple answer, right? Do you have a manuscript of the New Testament from the time when Jesus was on earth? Yes or no? Now you see, you are just restricting your question. As I, as I mentioned earlier, what we believe, both the Old Testament okay. and the New Testament are inspired Word of God. Okay. Okay. When, we, when Jesus was living on that time, mm -hmm. the Old Testament was already there. Okay. That was the Bible, Old Testament Bible that okay. he is using. It was already exist. As you understand, the earliest archaeological finding Mm -hmm. from the Dead Sea Scroll 200 years before that, especially relating to the prophet Isaiah, sure. the book of Isaiah. Yeah. Because this is a very significant finding. Mm -hmm. Because in the prophet Isaiah, the Old Testament book, it basically foretold, prophesies okay. the servant of God, the word of God, sure. okay, the Messiah. The comforter. He will come and die for your sins and my sins. And then he will be, he is the faithful servant. Okay. Now, not but only he, that, he's not God. Though. No, no, no. Let me continue, okay? Sure. And it's so important. But, but you haven't answered my question. I will, I will okay. answer your question. Please do. Because you cannot I, just I, point out to one I, single. I want to listen to you, but yeah, I just want to sure. make sure that you do answer. I we, do. We don't want to just loop around it either, Yeah. Right? No, 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 no. So my question, just so we I'm talking about, memory. there is a Bible in there okay. at the Jesus time. But not the New Testament. Now, I'm talking about the Bible. Hold on, hold on, okay. hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let, me, let me just clarify <laughs> because I want to make sure that we are making a productive. Jews, for example, they believe in the Old Testament. They believe in the Torah. They do not believe in the New Testament. So Bible is not one book. There are two books put together in the Bible that you have. You have the Old Testament, like the Torah, the first five books, the Jews would believe in. Mark, Matthew, John, Luke, Hebrews, Acts, Jews would not believe in. Yeah. Okay. So my question is not mm -hmm. about the Old Testament, yes. because we already agreed that we don't have a manuscript from Moses' time, yeah. peace be upon him. The earliest Dead Sea Scrolls are, and again, they have many differences from the Old Testament that you have in your Bible today, because yeah. I studied both, yeah. but they are from around 200 BC, which even conservatively would be at least two to four to more hundred years more after than Moses. That. Yeah. So you have no original manuscript from Moses or David's time. Okay. Who wrote the Dead Sea Scrolls? We don't know. They found them in a cave. There is no authorship that we know of. Who were the scribes? We don't know. Anonymous. Mm -hmm. The New Testament, my question was, mm -hmm. do we have a manuscript from the time of Jesus, peace be upon him, yes or no? And I believe the answer is no. Yeah. We do have Qur'ans, manuscripts, and memorized from the time of the Prophet, peace be upon him, till today. And we have people that memorize letter by letter, word by word, with meaning and understanding, till today, Arabs and non-Arabs. So the preservation of the Qur'an, you cannot compare. It's amazing. It's the, we have, even how you pronounce it, we preserve. You know how you stretch a mud, we preserve. It's called tajweed, right? The earliest manuscript that you have and again, you're a PhD, it's Codex Sinaiticus, that's complete. I'm talking about a little card, right? That's fourth century. Who were the scribes that wrote it? We don't know. Mark, Matthew, John, and Luke never mention authorship. Their name's not mentioned in the Gospels, right? Now, when you say that, is that right? let me, let me, let me say that, right? that. The inspiration of God's word, uh -huh. now when we believe in inspiration, mm -hmm it kind of will come into stages, okay? God continued to reveal himself. 
Okay. Now, this is what we call as the progressive uh, revelation. In the Old Testament, that's why I mentioned about the prophet Isaiah. In chapter 9, verse 7. Let me, let me read that to Go you, ahead, 6 please. and 7. I want to, I want to respect you to please, read please, whatever okay. you like. For to us, a child is born. For to us, a child, a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Now, this is in the Old Testament. I mentioned earlier, for biblical scholar, we kind of believe that God continued to reveal Himself in different stages, periods of time. Okay. So that's why we have these collections of books, not just from one time era, mm -hmm. but for, for the Old Testament, for over 2,000 years periods of time. Okay. Yeah? And then generation after the generation. So that's why we have the book of Te uh, Torah, mm -hmm. and then we have, they continue to have the book, the prophets. Okay. Now, what we believe in today is the inspiration of God's word. Mm -hmm. It's not only one, I'll give you everything, okay? We believe that God continued to reveal himself okay. through his people, mm -hmm. through King David. David is sitting here, okay? Yeah. Through others, okay? So David was a prophet? Now, over here... So do you believe David was a prophet? Well, you see, for that will point, okay? Because God speak. Not only David is a prophet, okay. because in the Old Testament, it basically prophesies that his descendants will be the Messiah. Okay. Okay. okay? Gotcha. David's descendants will be the Messiah. Mm -hmm. So that's why this particular prophecy in Isaiah 9, 6. Okay. Now, so, uh, when we, uh, please, okay, so, 6 and 7, okay? You mm -hmm. read that. I, I, you already read it. For, la, for la, say, you see, when we read this passage, everybody will scratch their head. Mm -hmm. Because God revealed himself saying that, hey, I will give you, I will give the kingdom, the Israelites, my chosen people, a son, a child is born, and a son is given. And then the government will be on his shoulder, which means that he will be the heir of the kingdom, okay. the government on his kingdom. But at the same time, he will be called, now this is in the word of God, gotcha. wonderful counselor, okay. mighty God, Got it. and then everlasting father, prince of peace. Excellent. Now, he will be called the father? All this, now you see, when we read that, I really don't understand either. Mm. I have to admit. Okay, you don't understand. Okay? Because this is a revelation from God. Mm -hmm. Now, if you can understand what God is about, mm -hmm. who is God? Okay. So are you asking me a question? Because you never answered my question. Now, my answer to you. Yes. Thank you. God continued to reveal himself. And then Jesus was born. Okay? okay? And Jesus is from the lineage of David. Lineage of David, and okay. then he was born. So can you, because I, I want to understand that. Yeah, Matthew. Okay. Let, let's open Matthew. Okay, please, okay. Do you have Matthew? Yeah. First chapter. Because you said that the Messiah has to be from the lineage of David, right? Yes. I know you have another question on that, right? <laughs> No, I didn't even mark that. Okay, one. sure. But, but you, you Please, brought that okay. up. Sure, so yeah. I thought, great. Sure, I, yeah. I, I have studied the Bible, like I Excellent, said. Excellent, yeah. And this is something that. So if you go to Matthew 16, yeah. it says, so this is the lineage. 116, me? 116, yeah. yeah. You want to bring up 116? Yeah. And Jacob begot Joseph, the husband of Mary, to mm -hmm. whom was born Jesus, yeah. who is called Christ. Yes. So who is the father of Joseph? Jacob. Right? Mm -hmm. He begot Joseph, right? Yeah. And from Joseph, which is not the real father, according to you, God is the father of Jesus, yeah. but Joseph lineage through him, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Can you open Luke 3.23? Yeah. I can explain that to you right away. Excellent, good. Because they are talking about two different lineages. Let's see it. One is, say, according to... Can the father's side, according, the other one is according to the mother's side. Let, let's see. Okay, please. Okay. So Luke, Luke 3.23. Yeah. So Jesus himself began, 
began his ministry at 30 years of age, yeah. being a supposed the son of Joseph, yeah. which was the son of Heli. Yeah. So this says Joseph is the son of Heli. Yeah. So who is the father of Joseph, okay. Jacob or Heli? Now again, hmm? let me explain that to you. Please. Thank you for pointing that out. I appreciate your explanation. For, for Hebrew, okay, when they talk about the father of whom, the father of whom, mm -hmm. it may mean the immediate father. Okay. It might mean Jay, the grandfather. Ah, okay. Or the great grandfather. So which one is the grandfather? Okay. And at the same time, we are talking about two different lineages as which well. Which one is the lineage okay. of Mary? Yeah. Now, you see over here so is mainly in... focused eh, in talk about Mary, okay? Wh which one is about Mary? Okay. Now, the Wait, wait, the, I'm sorry. Matthew, okay, talk about Joseph, okay? Okay, so, so you're saying Matthew about is the lineage of Joseph, and you're saying Luke is the lineage of Mary? No, no, further down, okay? And then it all point all the way to Adam, okay, wait, wait, in I'm, I'm Luke. Sorry. Which one is the lineage of Joseph, and which one is the lineage of Mary? Now, I do have a, that... Now, I do have Come that on. right up. No, 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 let's, no. I'm, I'm let's, not, let's be honest with each other. I am honest. You're, you're just jumping. Now. No, no, I'm not jumping. Because, well, which eh? one is the lineage okay. of Mary and now. which one is the lineage of Joseph? Now, let me see that. One says be God and one says son. Neither one goes to Mary. Now. Okay. Over here, okay, let's, let's read that. Okay? Let's read it. Let's read that. Well, first, you just tell me which one is Mary's and which okay. one is Joseph's. Now, let's go back to here. You're, you're okay? not telling me. No, 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 I'm, I'm telling you You're in not here, telling. okay? Which one is Mary's, which one? Just, oh. just before we start, is Matthew Mary or is Luke Mary's? Okay, now, when you read that, okay, when you read this from here... Come on. Okay, I want to, I want to let you just, know... Just tell me which one is Mary's and which one is Joseph's, because you said one is Mary's and yes. one is Joseph's. Which one is which? Just tell okay. me, Matthew or Luke, that's it, easy question. My understanding, okay, from our recollection, okay? The Bible because there are so many things. You got a PhD. Yeah? Yeah, my recollection, say my understanding is that will be from the Luke side, okay? So from Luke the Luke is whose? Okay, that's Mary my understanding from the linear lineage from Mary as okay, my hold understanding. On, hold on, okay, hold on, hold on. So you, yeah. you said that. So if you look at that, it says the son of Joseph, the son of Heli. How can that be Mary's lineage if it says son? It doesn't mention Mary anywhere, and it says the son of Heli. How can that be Mary's lineage? Come on. Uh, okay, I might have mixed up. That would be, <laughs> sorry anyway. Okay. I have to say that. Okay? No problem. But this is my understanding Out of that. respect, I'll let you yeah. take a Mulligan. You know what Mulligan is? A do-over, okay? So now you're saying Matthew is, is Mary's lineage? No. But it says Joseph begot Joseph. Begot Jacob Joseph, begot. yeah. begot. How can it be Mary if it says begot? He fathered. Joseph. Jacob begot Joseph. Luke 3.23. Now, I understand that uh, when you look at say, the lineage here, okay, according to this, uh, the family kind of all, the descendant list in here, there is difference eh, in these two lineages. Yes, there is. They're contradictory. Okay? You understand? Okay? Yes, and you told me one is Mary's now, like and I one said, is Joseph's. Because I have read a eh, research on this. Look, because, like I said, I I'm cannot. I'm asking you, as a, as a PhD biblical scholar who made a statement. Now, when I say can, that. Can I finish my. Okay, please. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, respectful. I appreciate your conversation. I even let you do a do-over, do right? Do, please. So as a PhD pastor who's dedicated his life to the Bible, who has a PhD in biblical studies, you told me one of them is Mary's and one of them is Joseph's. First you said Luke is Mary's, and when we read through it, you said you got it wrong. I said, okay, no problem. I'll let you take it to Matthew. Matthew says, be God, so it can't be Mary's, and it says the husband of Mary. So unless Mary is her own husband, which she's not, this is Joseph's. So both are not going to Mary and your answer doesn't fit, I, I, it's okay. I mean, you can say, you know, it's a contradiction. It doesn't make sense to me. That's okay. I, I, I don't mind that. But you can't tell me no, one, no, of, no. Them is, one okay. of them is Mary's and then yeah. not tell me which one is Mary's yeah. and tell me begun and son is right okay. there. If you want to look it up, it's in Matthew 116. 
and Luke 3.23. Yeah. Matthew 1.16. Mm -hmm. yeah. One says son, and the other says begotten, or the husband of Mary, not Mary, so neither one goes to Mary. Yeah. Would, now, you, would you like some more tea? Let me share. No, no. Okay, Please. thank you. Put some tea for me. Would you like some cake? I don't Can I? Me. I know that there are so many, say, uh, points say, in there. To, come, come, there's come. a clear okay. point. We're not yeah. going to jump from it. Yeah. Okay? So there's a clear point. Which one is Mary's? Which one is Joseph's? Yeah. Now, like I said, I know that the descendant list in here, they are different. They're contradictory. The different, no, the difference in there is, as I mentioned to you, explain that to you. In the Hebrew section, when they talk about the father of whom, or the son of whom, it may mean, in fact, eh, the direct father, mm -hmm. or it may mean, say, eh, forefather, grandfather so in there. Now you're changing. Earlier yeah. you said one of them is Mary's, now you're saying it's a forefather. No. Like I said, no, 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 I no, do no. remember, Which one is it? but I will get back to you. No, no, no. No, 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 I want to get back to you. I'm because you I have read some paper Okay, I've read those paper. papers as well. Okay, I read some paper talk about that. The lineage in there talk about that. Of course, eh, this lineage in there, in the book of Matthew, because it's written to the Jewish people, so that's why it go all the way back to Abraham. But for the Luke, okay, Luke 4, it basically go back eh, to Adam. Okay, now, having said that, I'm going to let you finish because I respect let, let, you. Let me, let me finish. Thank you, okay, on this. And I know that this is the difference between the Islamic faith and the Christian faith. I think it all hinges on Jesus Christ and hinges on second thing about the Bible, whether it is believable. Now, I understand that you try to work on the Bible itself, but I, explained to, I have already explained to you the inspiration is progressive inspiration. It comes into different time period, and then we'll continue to work on that. So that's why your question say that, oh, when Jesus time, do you have the, old, the whole New Testament? Of course, that wasn't kind of fully written, okay? Gotcha. Because the I New Testament that, was written by the first, um, first person eyewitness. Second thing, I know that the key point between Islamic faith and the Christian faith is really hinges on, I'm glad, okay, the Islamic faith really respect Jesus. We do. Okay, really kind of will take him, we revere we him very really highly. And I'm thankful to see that. Okay, I just want to explain that myself. Thank you. But at the same time, I know that you revere Jesus as the second greatest prophet after Muhammad. We don't really grade them like that. But no, 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 that's okay. He's a great prophet, okay? We love him. Great prophet. Excellent. One of the greatest. Excellent. Now, in the, in the Quran, okay, help me. That, you, 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 you asked me. Well, let me ask you a question, but, okay? Hold on. Uh, are you done with your explanation? Because we're, we're not going to go to another question no, 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 until no. we're done with the subject. Because I, I want to talk about this, because this is important. I, I get it. But, but before who we go to another created, subject. Okay. Who created... How did God, Allah, created the universe? Excellent. Please, please help me to understand. I got you. No problem. Please. No problem at all. How did, well, how I, I did heard God, Allah? Yes. So, what was your name again? J Jackie. Jackie. Yeah. Jackie, what you're doing here is you're jumping. Right? We were on a subject, we were discussing a verse, and you're jumping because your answer came out wrong. And, and again, I'm, I'm respectful, I listen to you, I let you, and I will answer every question that you bring, no problem. Sure. Okay. But the problem is, you're a PhD in the Bible, you're a pa I Please, let, I please, let you speak. okay, please. Let, respect, thank you. You read the verses, you have them marked, you've, you've obviously studied it, you teach the Bible, and you told me that one of these lineages is Mary's. Right? All these people are witnesses. I asked yes. you which one, you yes. said Luke. When we looked at Luke, you realized that that's not true. 
So I, I allowed you to even take yeah. it back. And yeah. you said Matthew. When we looked at Matthew, it said begun Joseph, the husband of Mary. So that's not Mary's either. Then you switched your answer to say that it goes through generations. It, it doesn't mention the father, it mentions the grandfather. And then instead of explaining that, you jumped to how Allah created the universe. Because you didn't want me to question that. But I'm going to have to respectfully say, we can't jump subjects until we're done speaking about a subject. I don't mind you getting back to me, yeah. but I would like to then be clear sure. that these lineages are not jumping generations, as you said, because I would then ask you, where is Heli, if you're saying it goes by grandfathers, where is Heli in Matthew? If it goes, for example, Jacob is the father, where is Heli in the whole lineage? Let's go from 1 to 16, and we don't find Heli anywhere. In fact, when you look at the names in Matthew yeah. and Luke, they don't, many of the names don't, that are mentioned in one lineage are never mentioned in the other. So it's not like one is giving each father and one is skipping. That's also not true. Just like one of them being Mary's cannot be true because it mentions the son, not the daughter, the son. And it mentions Joseph. And it even clarifies Joseph, the husband of Mary, not Mary. And it says, begot. He was the father of. Unless there were brother and sister and there was incest, this is not Mary's. So those answers are just trying to do away with a clear contradiction. It's not skipping generations because he is not mentioned anywhere in Matthew, as others that are not mentioned in both, right? And neither one is Mary's. So if you would like to go to another question, I'm fine with that. And you can ask me any question you like. But I would Please. then like to state that as far as we have seen, this is a clear contradiction. And this is creedal. This is not just some, because this is tying Jesus to David. Peace and blessing be on both of them. And you said the Messiah had to be from the lineage of David. If the lineage is fabricated, then you have a real creedal problem. Correct? Now, you see, this is why I want to mention. Hmm? You see, when I say skip the name, uh -huh. the name, some of them didn't mention in another lineage in there. Okay? Okay. So, so that would be, now you see, when you mention okay. about the father, the forefather in there, okay. indeed, say, when you look at this, like I said, so, you so need to so, do... So, so you're, you're saying that's the answer? So let's take a look at yeah, it. Okay. Here, let's take this, right? So here, Abraham begot Isaac, Isaac begot Jacob, Jacob begot Judas and his brethren, and Judas begot Paris, right? And Zara and Tamir, right? Mm -hmm. And if you go to Luke, right? Now, when we go all the way to where it has Adam, right? And it goes son by son, not daughters, not son-in-law, sons, right? All the way to where we find Abraham. We have Abraham in right? verse 34. Excellent. So let's read down from it. 34 is... Abraham, Jacob, Judas, Ferris, and then it goes to Esraham, right? And Aram goes to different lineages, not the same. It's not skipping, they're different names, which they do not have in common at all. So it's not like one is mentioning some and some is the other. The son of begot, not skipping, they're different names, they're different lineages all the way down to Heli and then Jacob again around Joseph. And if you go up from them, for you have Matan and Matat and so on, you will see differences in both of them. So the reality is there are two contradictory lineages. Now you can make up an excuse and say one was Mary's, but the reality is it clearly says son and clearly says begot and even clarifies Joseph, the husband of Mary, not Mary. So that's not going to work. And you can say, you know what, they were mentioning different names, but that's not going to work either because the lineage does go son by son at Abraham and then it switches it up. Different names, different generations, not in common. So if you want to admit that there are two contradictory lineages, we can move to another question. Yeah. You see, I do not admit that. Okay, then we're going like to keep I, on No, it. no. Like I said, like I said, there are research done in here, in these two lineage in there. I just explained eh, to you one of the observation. Both of them are because, wrong. Because I, no, no, I cannot say that both are so wrong. So which one is Mary's? Then? Now, you see, now, this is why I said that. 
I will get back to you on this because I don't want to stretch my knowledge on this. I now, want you to stretch your knowledge. No, 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 no. Use your no, brain. No, 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 no. What's that PhD for? No, 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 no. This is not how it works, okay? okay. You see, the more you learn, mm -hmm. the, you, the more you understand, you realize that yourself, because my PhD is into one particular area in there, okay? okay. What, what, that what's would be other area. My PhD would be more, well, you ask me, my PhD would be in the international development, okay? Of the church. Of a church, Not okay? divinity. No, it's, well, it's relating to that, but using the Bible, how mm. to kind of all help out eh, the international people, how to do international development. Okay, so as it stands, yeah. until you get back to me, those are two contradictory lineages, is that correct? Well, you see appearance in here, okay? Uh -huh. Appearance differences. But I can tell you, because this question has been answered. Not ah, to I, me. I need to say that. I've, uh, I've asked a lot of now, people. Now, you see, this online. is why, now this is why, let me get back to you, okay? okay? I, because I don't, I, I don't want to I kind of just to settle on this. No problem. Because this apparent differences in there. Thank you. There is an answer for that. I, I just want to let you know. But see, again, this is not an answer because you're saying there is an answer, but you don't know it. No, no, right? no. So, and you gave two answers no, already. All of my own wrong. shortcoming, I have okay. to admit, okay? No all of my own shortcoming because of this, I cannot give you an answer right away. No but I promise, I'll get your. Promise, I get promise. your yes, I get your email address. Gotcha. I want to get back to you, because because no I want you to know because I do respect. I appreciate. Like that. I said, I I have read and I understand that there has been research done on this. Mm -hmm. Now, this is why we need to have the dialogue. I appreciate you point out, yeah. because yes, there are apparent differences. In the Bible. Contradictions. Oh, contradiction. Thank you. That's it. We're please, good. okay, Let's please. Move on. Okay, please. Woman Ahsanu Kaunam Mimda. Wa Amina Sani Hawa.